Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about Hull City as they took on Luton and yeah I'm sorry this video is very late but here we go See, so yeah, Hull City played Luton and obviously lost 2-0 um, Luton's first goal being very lucky, coming off crossbar and hitting Alpha Jones on the back, I think, and Henry Lansbury for Luton's second with an absolute worldy of a goal um, to make it 2 0 to Luton Town. And uh, yeah, Hull City, you know, obviously sacking shots by Valadze and uh, not getting as many good points. Um, and having Andy Dawson in charge, you know, he didn't have very long to give his get his new team and get his ideas across. Um, which hopefully we'll see more on Wednesday and night when we play Wigan. Um, but yeah, I think we we played better. We actually went for it. Um, it was a bit odd that it took Oscar off in about the 65th minute for a midfielder, so we did have a striker when we needed a goal. Um, but we actually did better without no striker, if that makes sense. Um, Doherty came on, Christy came on, um, and they actually got us forward. So yeah, I was very impressed with them. Uh, Luton, yeah, they look a very good team. Um, I hope... You know, obviously Henry Lansbury, what a goal. You couldn't hear a shot any better. Um, still Hull City, I'm obviously looking for a manager. I don't think we'll find out who it's soon. So yeah, now we're going to talk to Tyler Boy TV, or T-Boys TV as he's also known as. Um, he was on the preview video, so make sure you go check him out. His link will be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, here he is. Right, hello people, it's me Tyler from T-Boys TV. Obviously you'd know me, uh, especially if you saw the preview the other day. Uh, to the game um, versus uh, Luton if you're a Hull fan versus Hull if you're a Luton fan. Uh, but obviously Luton won 2-0. You know, I got the prediction right. Um, and we were brilliant yet again. You know, I said it's a very good game to to get another win in, especially with, you know, Hull, you know, how they've been in their last couple of games. And also they sat their manager today, which I was very surprised about because I'm recording this the day uh, after uh, the day before, sorry, it drops. Uh, obviously, it's dropping on the Saturday, um, but I'm doing this on the Friday. Um, so, yeah, you know, I was very surprised with that, you know, considering we just had an international break. You'd have thought it had been done then, but clearly not. Um, and that gave me even more confidence, you know, to be quite honest with you, even more than I already had. And like I said, it's not no disrespect to hold that I had that confidence. So just the way we were playing, you know, the way they were playing... It gave me a lot of confidence in that scenario. But I said as well, I said on the video, you know, I said if Luton get an early goal, we're in a very good position. Obviously, an own goal. Uh, Elijah, very unlucky, um, you know, not to actually get the goal. Um, you know, but he's brilliant. Brilliant to see him smiling again. You know, he's been getting heavy, heavy criticism from Luton fans. And, you know, we need to learn at times. We need to stop doing this. You know, we've done it with Bree last season. Look, how, look what he turned into. You know, yeah, you know, be annoyed when they have a bad game, you're a fan, you know, you want the best of the club, but don't, you know, start saying all this nonsense, do you know what I mean, and rubbish, and sometimes take it too far, do you know what I mean, and I just don't agree with it, to be quite honest with you, um, but very unlucky, you know, massive part of that goal, unlucky own goal, you could say, but, you know, I'd say we would deserved it, especially with how we started off in the game, um, and I said about playing Lansbury, and, you know, that that goal was wicked. You know, people want to talk about Adama Traores versus Wolves. For Newcastle in the Premier League, you've got to talk about that. Very similar strike. And for me, without being biased, I think that's a better strike because it's further out. It's off the post and in as well. You know, I think the only reasons you could say St. Maximum's was better was because it was in the 90th minute. Do you know what I mean? I think that's the only reason because, you know, people like to say that. But, yeah, brilliant in that first half. You know, Hull had a little bit of a spell. Um, but, you know, they, other than that chance they hit the bar, they wasn't really causing too much, I would say. And plus that took a deflection. Um, I think in the whole game, Hull didn't actually have a shot on target. Um, I know in the first half they definitely didn't, and most of the second half. Maybe at the end, but I can't. I don't think they did. Um, but yeah, going into the second half, it's absolutely brilliant uh, from Luton. You know, it, it, it weren't brilliant in the sense where... You know, we, we really look like scoring, but we're just in control. We're just in control. We seem to be a second half team this year, but this game, it was more shut up shop in the first half. And like I said, going into this, you know, 
And like I mentioned, you know, on this review, if we get a goal early, we're in a very good position. And that's what happened. Um, you know, I also said parts that play a factor, you know, history books, you know, how we usually do against Hull uh, away. You know, the last time we lost there, I wasn't even one years old or a one year old, whatever you want to say in that aspect. So, yeah, brilliant performance. Uh, my man in the match, I'm going to give it to Lansbury, not even because of that goal. I just thought he got stuck in and that's why I wanted to see him in midfield, you know, that... Um, you know, that grit and that determination because some games we haven't really, the midfield's gone missing, you know, in the games before Blackburn and this game. So, yeah, I think he deserved it to come on. And ever since he come on against Coventry, you know, he's been brilliant. Um, so, yeah, that's that's re all I've really got to say. Um, so, yeah, big up Kieran um, and uh, make sure you subscribe to his channel. If you want to follow me across my channel, T-Boys TV, it should be the first thing that comes up. And... Um, yeah, if you want to follow me across my socials or anything like that, go on my recent stream or whatever's on there first. Bosh, I'm sure they'll be in there. So yeah, big up Kieran. Take care. So yeah, I just want to say a big thank you for Tyler for coming on from the T-Boys TV channel. Um, and like I said, his channel link will be in the description down below. Um, so make sure you go check him out. And uh, yeah, that's been a review video, guys. So it's been a bit late. Um, but yeah. I'll see you hopefully for a Wigan preview, if not for a Wigan review video. Take care guys, I've been Ken Webster and I'll see you all later. Peace.